If you want to explore a ghost town that has remained mostly untouched since it was abandoned and in a remote western setting, you'll want to visit this one. We'll show you where it's at right now on Ghost Towns and More. In the late 1860s, gold was discovered near central Wyoming near the Continental Divide. As soon as it was, substantial mining claims resulted in three sister towns springing up in what was called the South Pass Mining District. The northernmost town was called Hamilton, founded by a man named Jonathan Pugh. No one knows for sure how the town got its name, but the mining claim that started it was doing so well, it was named Miner's Delight. Things were going well enough in the new venture, such that the town eventually took on the same name as the mine, and by 1869 had about 75 residents. The town was small, although it had shops and stores to meet many of the needs of the time, including a grocery store, a shoemaker, and a liquor store. The area is beautiful in this broad, windswept region with blue skies, but the winters can be brutally cold. During the peak of mining, there were some interesting things happening. One miner, John Connor, found an orphaned grizzly bear cub and decided to take him home as a pet and named him Cuff. John Connor must not have taken into serious consideration that a bear cub will grow with a thriving appetite at that. According to lore, the bear cub became tame and enjoyed being fed treats and food by all the miners. As Cuff grew, he started to become a nuisance. He developed the ability to know how to break into other cabins, looking for sugar, honey, and any food he could find. It soon became obvious that the care and feeding of a large bear was more than John Connor could keep up with. When Cuff became more than what other residents in town could tolerate, unbeknownst to John, someone decided to shoot him. Cuff was cut up and processed into meat, and someone served some of it to John. When they let him in on what they had done, John was distraught that he had eaten his beloved pet. Another person of notoriety who lived in Miner's Delight was the well-known Calamity Jane, one of the most famous women of the West. Born Martha Jane Canary, she reportedly spent some time in the town with her adoptive parents before moving on. The delight of wealth coming from the mine began to run out, and by 1880, the town was deserted. There were sporadic attempts of reopening the mine from time to time, but with only limited success. With each new attempt, residents would come back to Miner's Delight but only in limited numbers. In 1893, an incident took place that was widely covered in the press throughout Wyoming. 
being referred to as the Brass Lock Service Mystery. The postmaster in Miner's Delight shipped letters via stagecoach to other towns using what was referred to as Brass Lock Service. It consisted of canvas mail pouches that were fastened with brass locks and only the postmasters in designated towns had the keys. When the postmaster shipped eight registered letters to Rollins, Wyoming, the receiving postmaster discovered that somewhere along the route, someone had sliced open the pouches and stole the mail. This kept happening for some time with repeated thefts until officials suspected postmaster John Gatlin of Myersville and his wife as being the culprits. Both John and his wife Stella were arrested and charged, but they were later dropped against John when his wife Stella confessed to the thefts. She claimed she suffered from kleptomania, having kept it a secret from her husband for years. In November of 1893, a jury found her guilty and she became the first woman to serve in the Laramie, Wyoming prison. Due to her good behavior, she was released after a year. After the year 1900, the mine and Miner's Delight came to life again, with upturns in 1907, 1910, and again during the Great Depression. Over the years, the mine turned out over $5 million in gold. Some residents even hung on until as late as 1960. But in the following years, the town became a complete ghost. Today, Miner's Delight is a historic ghost town with ongoing efforts by the Bureau of Land Management in providing a walking trail through the site with restoration work to preserve some of the old buildings. There are interpretive signs, and parking at the trailhead is near the old cemetery. Miner's Delight is situated near two other historical towns, Atlantic City and South Pass, and the day trip to visit all three is highly recommended during the warmer months of the year. <music>